Robert's mom just bought him two sets of crayons, and each has eight crayons. He also has three crayons in his desk at school. How many crayons does Robert have all together now? Well, let's take a look at the first sentence, that his mom bought two sets of crayons, and each has eight crayons. Well, here you can see the two boxes of crayons, and I'll write this as a multiplication problem. Um, there are two boxes, and each one has eight. That means I have to multiply because it's the same uh, number of crayons in each box. So two groups of eight crayons, but I also have three more crayons in his desk at school, which we'll have to add on. Now two plus two times eight is 16, and if we add the three crayons in his desk at school, we can see that Robert has 19 crayons all together. And when you write the answer, you should say what it is that you're counting. So here we'll write 19 crayons.